Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how I created this eye look. We have a lot of fun things to play with on my channel this week. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I put this together, just keep watching. Hey guys, so I am actually in the process of filming a foundation video, like putting on my base. And I figured why just do one when I just got the coolest package ever. I've been waiting for these babies and they're here. So I'm gonna do a eyeshadow look with one of these palettes. I'm gonna show them to you, we're gonna swatch them and all that good stuff. And if you wanna see what is on my face right now, before we play with the eyeliner, if that video is up already, I will link it. Otherwise, you will have to subscribe to my channel so you can find out what's on my face. <laughs> it might also be in the description box below if you're lucky and I did my job. So anyway, let's get into it. Okay guys, based off of this packaging, can you tell what this is? Maybe if I turn it this way. If you're like a YouTube crazed person like me, you can definitely tell what it is. But I was like wondering where my package was and it arrived and I've never seen so much bubble wrap in my life and I totally planned on filming a trying out new makeup that I picked up from the Sephora sale video, which is partially what's on my face right now. But when I saw I got these eyeshadow palettes, I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm not filming with whatever eyeshadow palette I picked up from the Sephora sale. I'm filming with these ones. And I'm going to make two videos. So, oh my god, this is so cool. I need to show my husband this. Ooh. These are cool, wow. I've never seen bubbles like that. And let me tell you, we work in packing and shipping and that was really cool packaging. Okay, so here's my order from Kaleidos Cosmetics. Is that how you say it? Or Kaleidos Makeup? I know they changed their name. Can't remember, this presentation is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I don't even wanna open this. Okay, here we go. Oh, beautiful bow. Okay. I'm such a weirdo. Ah, okay, it says futurism, a message from the future. Let me show you this beautiful presentation. Unreal, I love this. And it just says thank you for your purchase. Join our mailing list, follow us on Instagram, Kaleidos Makeup. Oh my God, you guys. This is the pre prettiest presentation I've seen in a hot second. I haven't really watched anyone's videos of this that didn't get this in PR. I watch all the PR videos, so Paulina, Amy, and Angelica, of course, and I think Fancy Face got this too. I feel so happy with myself. Okay, it's also beautiful, and you guys know how much I love green, so I'll take all the green packaging in the world. Thank you very much. And because I am savage, <laughs> I did buy their other palette too. I can't remember what this one's called, but Angelica got it in PR, I think, and she did a video on it. And it looked really beautiful. And I figured since I was already placing an order with them, I would buy this one too. So again, I got two beautiful boxes. This is crazy. And they did have a, um, wow. Look at this, guys. They did have a bundle where you could get their existing palette and the three new ones. So I was like, yes. Just so you guys know, too, I just filmed my single eyeshadows. There were a few casualties. I dropped some of my color range shadows, and I like, I'm like injured on the inside. Anyway, okay, this is their um, Deep Sea Luster palette. Stunning, glitter, beautiful. This, wow, this presentation is stunning. I'm actually really impressed. Really, really impressed. Okay. How do you, oh my goodness, look at this. Are you serious right now? This is so extra. Everything in the back is in English and um, Chinese, I'm guessing, because they are. American and Chinese owned or Chinese American potentially. I'm sorry if I'm screwing that up, but I'm not sure. Uh, gorgeous. Are you kidding me? This is probably one of the most beautiful palette packaging I've seen in a long, long time. So here is their palette. I promise you that my 
camera is not doing this palette justice. It is 10 times more gorgeous in person. But we're gonna do a different video about this guy, so I'm just gonna put it down back there. And we're just gonna play with these today. I've been, this is the one I've wanted to play with the most, so I'm gonna do an eye look with this one. And then we can swatch all of them and talk about them. And then I will hopefully do more videos with the other ones. Oh God, I just broke the box a little. <laughs> oh, okay, are you kidding me? I just, I feel like I already know you and I've never even seen you in real life. <gasps> ah, yummy. Are you serious right now? This like blurple shade as Amy calls it has been haunting me <laughs> since <laughs> the day all the PR packages went out. So I am excited to play with these. I think I just screwed this up already. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I got it right. So these are the shade names. They're on a little plasticky thing. There's a little mirror. This is so cute. I don't anticipate that there's gonna be fallout with this, but to be on the safe side, let's just put some powder on. I don't usually do this, so as you can tell, I don't really know what I'm doing, but that should catch any stragglers. Is my Wayne Goss number 19. And I'm gonna go into the shade Stardust, which is just a typical mauve color. And I'm just placing that in the inner half of my crease. And it's pretty pigmented. I can definitely see it. I don't know if you guys can. And, uh, this formula is really nice. It's like blending out well. Do you see it? It's such a pretty color. Okay, now I'm just going like all the way. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked, but I kind of wanted to put the darker purple in the crease too. I still might, but you guys know whatever I do is just gonna be like simple, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go into Nebula, which is that purple shade, the matte, and I'm just gonna put that in the outer half of my crease and also on my lid. Wow, that's a pretty color. Ooh. And I'm gonna blend that into my crease and then once I blended it, I'm gonna drag it inward. So it's like more diffused, you know what I mean? Oh my God, that is such a pretty color and just gonna keep blending. Blend, 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 blend. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some on my eyelid as well. I can't remember if we had to spray these um, shimmers, but I guess I'll find out. You guys, my eye looks, I don't know how they, like how do I get them get through them so fast, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they're, they do the job, you know? They I think they look impactful and like I put some thought into it, but they sure don't take me very long. I feel like I'm almost done, <laughs> like what the heck? Okay, so I do want to put some shades in the crease and for that I'm going into the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I'm just gonna use the shade Tusk. And I have found myself a ColourPop shader brush and it's the one I've been using like during the week to just do my makeup. So I just use that brush. It's like a flat shader brush to do my brow bone highlight. And yeah, it's just a matte brow bone, you know, keeping it simple. And then I just want to use the shimmer shades. I just want to use the blue. That's all I want to use. So let me think here. And to use Neptune, I'm just going to use this fat little shader brush and see if I can apply it, if it be pigmented enough to just apply with a brush or if I need, I mean, I can see it, but I can't remember if my friends used like a wet brush to do this, but I think I might, cause I want 
like full pigmentation. So let's do that. Spray the brush. So to me, um, the, I don't think this formula is a dupe for the Pat McGrath shadows by any means, but this shade is very beautiful. I think with the Pat McGrath ones, the special shades, you wouldn't have to wet it. You can just go in with powder on your on your uh, brush without wetting it, I believe. I mean, that's... Or I actually, I do use a glitter glue with the special shades just to get it to be more opaque. So I could be wrong, actually. But this shade, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. The shade is so beautiful, I can't even function. Are you kidding me? right now with this color, this purple, this Neptune. And I just, I did this eye look with three shades from this palette, like, I don't know, like what? This is crazy, it's so pretty. Ah, this is so gorgeous. Are you guys sick of me saying that already? Okay. I think we're good. Let's just put a little bit more purple on the outer corner, just to make a statement. Oh my gosh, did you guys see Jeffree Star's closet tour? Isn't his closet dreamy? Like, <laughs> I just thought it was amazing. Like, good for him. Okay, so you guys know I've been loving these LA Girl liners. This is the Shockwave liner. It's a neon eyeliner in the shade Electric. And I'm just gonna put this in my lower lash line. Okay, lower lash line action. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush. And that's got purple on it already. The shade Nebula, sorry. Uh, uh. I'm just um, using that whole shade under my in my waterline area. I was kind of being like a little bit liberal with it because I wanted it to be dramatic. I'm gonna wipe the bake off. I might have taken off some of my highlighter, but that's okay. And then, cause I want to, I wanna put some of this pinky color light year in my inner corner. So I'm gonna do that with the Sonia G Pencil Pro. Just gonna place that on the inner corner. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. By the way, did you guys see the Met Gala? I feel like this whole James Charles drama made me forget about the Met Gala and he even got to go to the friggin' Met Gala. <laughs> like, the kid is, a full-blown celebrity of our creation, obviously, because like he's a YouTuber. So. so I said we made him famous and my camera battery died as if like James Charles Ghost was like in the room with us. But yeah, it was kind of funny because I was like, whoa. But yeah, really, if you think about it, I mean, the reason he's famous is because of people like you watching his channel. And so I, that's why I always think like it's true, like elevating the right people in this industry is so important. I don't consider YouTube a job, so to me it's like, you know, if my channel grows, that's great. It means like I get to share my little community, my little hobby with other people. If not, like, I appreciate everyone that watches and just all the great conversations I get to have with women. I mean, most of the people that watch me are women and I'm so proud of that, that like, you know, there's people out there that connect with me um, based on this hobby I have. And I just get such a kick out of reading you guys' comments. It's unreal. And anyway, I just wanted to show you my favorite, favorite mascara combination. I love the Monster Big Mascara. The only thing is, sometimes when I'm wearing this through my work day, I'll see the mascara transfer. I don't know if switching to a waterproof version would help. But I do love this mascara so much, and I picked it up when Nordstrom does their sale. And same with this. This is the MAC Giga Black mascara, and everyone used to rave about this for the lower lash line, and whipping this out has reminded me why. 
Uh, and I just like totally unnecessarily stabbed myself in the eye there for no reason. This eye look I'm living for. And I just feel like the milk makeup stick I used in the other video is good, but I want it to glow a little more. So we're using the Miss Charlotte Tilbury Glow Gasm Palette or whatever. Ooh, I love this palette. I'm so glad I bought this. My only regret with this is that I didn't wait to pick it up during the Sephora sale because I didn't know, okay? I didn't know if it was gonna come to Sephora and I was not gonna run the risk of this selling out. Also like how beautiful is this packaging? So hopefully you guys like saw me raving about this on something, some kind of platform and bought this during the sale because it's 75 fucking dollars and if you can get it on a deal, why not? So I love this look. I need to do my hair and I'll be back and I wanna spray my face. And I've just gone back to an oldie but a goodie MAC Fix Plus. Okay guys, here is the final look. Everything is all done. I straightened up my hair. So glassy and I put these earrings on. I do want to talk about these earrings you guys. Oh my gosh I got them in Fargo at a local store It's called Olive Street and I will leave the link to these earrings. Hopefully if I can find them online down below I'm literally trying to figure out like where I can allocate money in my budget to go buy the other colors because she has like a tortoise one and she has like a blush pink and like a white So I'm like, I might need I might need more of these. They're so cute and I feel like they're so like spring and like so abstract and just like perfect for my channel. Anyway, here's the palette I use to create this look. I like it so far. Obviously it's my first time trying this brand, but I'm so excited. All my friends had nothing but good things to say about these guys and I feel the same way. I don't think it's gonna be bad at all. So I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put this look together. Thank you guys always for supporting me and I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye.